and a bit of a fist and pump. Out, five, three. It's only 5 3 in the first game, but Declan James really enjoying that. One of his favourite shots. The four. Beautiful shot there, the best shot that Joe Lee's played Six, in this match to the eight. front of the court. Really stepped forward into this volley. Unretrievable. Oh, he's thumped another one in the tin. Ten all. A player must win by what is he points. doing? Well, we've got to go into a tie break now. Review available. And this time it's Joe Lee James. who makes the error. James very relieved and fired up Declan James. He'll be a very pleased man to get off winning that game. He blew a few game balls, but he's taken it in the end. 13 11, 24 minutes between these two. One love to Declan James. Crowd love that. That was beautiful. That was dead as anything there. Look at that. He knew it was going there all the way. Uh, mix it up, change, switch sides, but skewing it. Again there, just trying to slow it down a little bit. Mix it up. That's a great drop shot. That wonderful. is wonderful touch from the Dark Knight in the front left hand corner. It's a way to play a drop shot. No, he's buttoned down the hatches a little bit here, Duck and James. Cut out the the unforced errors. Played just a little bit more carefully. Still still attacking and taking the ball early, but making sure, making sure that the ball goes into the right area. Stroke That's gonna be a stroke. He was solid as a rock in that game, Declan he James. Game he James. will be much happier with that. James leads by two games to love. Oh, that's a good shot. He loves lining that one up, doesn't he? Declan Just James. made it look so easy. He knew exactly where this was going, straight in the nick. It's the most consistent power hitter, do you think? Consistently hitting it at the, the hard space. Goha? <laughs> well, definitely the women's game, for sure. I mean, she's probably competing with a few of the men. That's a good shot from James. Shibagi, Mohamed Al Shabagi, I think, is, uh, is probably the one in terms of constant, consistent hard hitting. Oh. Survival mode for Lee, but he's Surviving. got through it. Great get from Joe Lee. Won't get that yes, one though. Match Triple today. fist pump from Declan Three James. Well, it's job well done Lee. in the end and from Declan James. Lee. Safely Lee. navigating it, this match against Joe Lee. Well, it's certainly good to see Joe Lee back, but not to be. Declan James taking it three, love. Do drop in. This one's not coming Six, back. Three. He certainly doesn't hold back in terms of uh, attacking Tom Richards. He loves an angle, oh, doesn't he? Yeah. Right on cue, right on cue. Head up, nine, four. 
go. Just what Parkey's talking about. In the end, Tom Richards finding the nick with that shot, getting over the finishing line. 12. He's raced onto that. We've seen it time and time again. If you allow that ball to sit up by playing it too slowly into the front. Four game balls for Richards. Only needs one. He was sharp as a razor onto that one. Jumping across onto the forehand body drop. Nice. Richards has had a, a couple of good runs in this. This event, 2015. What was his best one, Parky? Well, he lost to Chris Simpson in the semis in 2015, who eventually won it. But he, perhaps a better result was. He just keeps getting himself close, doesn't he, Fallows? But he just can't quite get himself in front or to really apply the pressure. This is the best game, though, so far. Even if he loses it, it's the best game of Seven, the three. Eight. It's taking opportunity. Down. 11 7. Match to Richards. Done it. Three games to love. 11 Let's hear it for Richie Ballard and Tom Richards. One well, of those final moments. Not able to get that ball up. Tom Richards well, will be very pleased Great with that three-love victory ball. over Ri Richie Fallows. Let's go. If I feel the Parker's maybe trying to hit the ball too hard, and it means it's just leaving the ball slightly. It's not about skill so much, and it's about hitting. And I think Parker needs to try and make this match about skill. It's tight work, good squeeze from the Frenchman. And out nine six. Yeah, it's really tight. He's Clean. playing a little bit more intelligently and precise, and that's uh, that's it. He couldn't get out of the way in time. It's all a bit about the the quality of Serm in this first game. Serm's done, done too much different or too much wrong either. I think it's been Parker's been able to, to pick off those winning shots and just break Serm up ever so slightly more. Yeah, just been a bit of a rise in, in level, I think, from Parker. And it's, it's, it's making Serm have to think about it a little bit more. Seeing all the speed of Sam. Right. <laughs> review Serm on the no -let. You know the balls. Oh, let's see the angle. I thought it hit the nick between the side wall and the the front wall, but it's a question of how. It's whether Sam can short, go and get yeah, the ball. How, how whether he should it play. Was. Yeah. 
No late decision of Kells. 11-5 game to Parker. Well, the referee is feeling that Term wasn't in a position to be able to actually hit the ball. Things like that happen with your decision making and then your execution of the shot. We, you sort of get into the mindset where you feel like, oh, this needs to be a winner. I have to make this a winner, whereas it doesn't actually have to be that way. That was a very good finish from Park up on the volley. I think one thing I, I've noticed with, with Parker is, you uh, can say he used to, but just from the last time I saw him, because I haven't seen him for a while. Game ball, Sam. Good hold and threat on the forehand from Parker. It's one of the first times we've really seen him. So sort of prepare and threaten available. with all the different options. Well, and Parker's gone for it, he's missed it, he's Going hit the tin. So third game. Goes to Lucas um, in the end. I don't think he really knows what what he's trying to do by the looks of it. The the tactics don't don't seem that clear. He's going to get this. That is very fast. Oh, oh my word! Wow. Not as fast as that. What a rally from the whippet! <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> oh, he's French like a whippet, whippet on there. <laughs> is there a French such thing as a French whippet? There is now. <laughs> What is this? This is Rapido. He's <laughs> hitting with much more intent now, Parker. Everything he's doing is more precise. It's much more purpose. You okay, Mr. Sarum? He's been a little bit winded there. Back of the, uh, back of the kidneys. Just, just wants to take a moment. I find it funny at Wimbledon uh, last summer when Boris Becker uh, had to explain who Jeffrey Boycott was. Well, it's a huge rally. That was a very impressive rally from Lucas. Um, really was. He's, he's so clever. He's underrated as well, the way he... Right. Wow. It's well, it's actually well held together by Parker. We thought he was simmering over, and he's actually played two brilliant rallies after that really tough one. That is exactly what Parker needed after two very good points from Sir. Immaculate length into the back of the court. That's what the players are talking about, the fact that it's fast off the front wall and dead in the back corners. That was a really good kill. Again, it's that one way threatens as though he's going to hit long and then 
85. Got the ball bouncing twice before the short line. Thought he just clipped the side wall as well, which helped. I think he wants to get off the court here. Well, that's it. That's it. So I'm clearly not very happy on there. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucas Stern and the winner, George Parker. Well, the finishing shot, you can see at the end, Sam still not comfortable. He wasn't very happy, but 78 minutes, 3-2 to George Parker. He yeah, I mean, he's, he's in every rally. The rallies are long, but it's, um, it's fascinating. Yeah. yeah. Castanet that usually has the, the final word. Oh, that's word. good. Oh. Yeah. Very good. He absolutely ripped that ball round. Not good sign for Pajaro's holding his leg. Just buckled under him there for such a strong mover normally. Well, the trend's continuing where they're having pretty long exchanges, but Castanet is the one that's winning these points. Well, he's an old hand at this kind of squash, isn't he? I was just mentioning earlier. Doesn't look comfortable though, does he? No. He's not moving as you'd expect. Like that, he's like normally that'd be bread and butter. Eight game balls for Castanier. Yeah, he's the kind of player this would be a lot more brutal, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah definitely. And definitely. definitely. Something not right here for Ika Pajares at Bernabeu. Not moving for someone that's so difficult to break down normally. Still. Lovely finish there. Five. One. It's in control here, Burnabout. I mean that was that was vicious. Unbelievable retrieving from Burnabout. Yeah, that's good. It's good from Castanet. Ball was popped up though. It was a little bit easy for him here. This is the loose shot. A good flick of the wrist. With going to be a stroke. Ball coming straight back to Castanier. Topsy-turvy match so far between these two. Both players have been completely dominant in the different games. What a shot. shot. Eight, Couldn't have been any better that from Castanet. Attacking in general in this rally. Castanet realising how important it is for him to stay in it. Well, he's on the attack here, but Spaniard just keeps sticking in. Oh, oh nice he's shot. finished it. Beautiful oh. shot. No chance of that being a let. Did well to play that because has been a few yeah. stoppages here, but that was the right Ten decision. All. A player must win by two points. Each player has one review. I think he did, just since hooked his racket underneath the ball somehow. Well, slightly Not tired ten. movement in and the end time. in that front right hand corner from Burnabout.
That's great touch. Not so good on the trickle base, but that's a tough rally. Six, Important one for Castanier. Showing really good resolve, the Frenchman. <laughs> yeah, Castanier really showing his quality. You can see Bernabeu just a little bit, a little bit weary. Nice finish there, though. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Good control, Five. good technique Nine. from the Spaniard. All over. Three games to one. Eleven two. Ladies and gentlemen, Well, those who went home early wouldn't have expected this when they look at the score. <laughs> Sixty-two minutes for that. Castanier beating Pajaras three-one, and we're going to hit.